Oh, hi there. Long time that we don't see each other. But joke aside, uh, it's good to be back. I hope that you're still on the channel, that you're still uh, kind of watching my whole work. But uh, it's been a long time, I know. In the last couple of years, I decided to move. I moved again country before I was in London from Italy. And now I'm in the Netherlands. Uh, I mean, uh, you don't see from uh, the looks of the room, but yes, I moved in the Netherlands. And uh, so I decided to just chill a bit with YouTube, uh, mostly because, uh, yeah, I have a daily job that take eight hours of my day. And I wanted to focus more on just make sure that my uh, work performance and my normal life uh, was okay to then uh, come back to YouTube. In the meantime, I didn't stop to do stuff. I actually still doing uh, stuff. If you follow me on my Instagram, that should appear somewhere here. Or my Twitter. I always try to engage with the community and stay updated uh, with what is going on. And uh, well, I purchased the Elugo Mars uh, that is a resin 3D printed uh, that is called MSLA uh, because uh, it uses a L LCD panel on the bottom of the printer to be able to generate uh, the picture of each layer uh, to be able to solidify the resin and then uh, create some really amazing objects. Uh, so I know that online you already see probably a lot of review. This I think is just more, uh, yeah, Unboxing experience and my thoughts. I have this machine around uh, uh, three months, I think it's almost four. And yeah, I bring a few things and I'm really happy with it. So let's just check out what is in the box and uh, how the machine works. The machine is sold for around 270 euro, at least when I purchased my units, that was quite things at the start of the hype of this machine. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really, uh, entry-level price, uh, in particular for SLA. Uh, I would like to remember that SLA or MSLA is quite messy, so you need to make sure they use all the possible protection. Uh, maybe in the future we'll do a video about it, and that you make sure that you work in a ventilated area, and that you clean all the NQ resin, and you make sure that you don't put down the drain uh, some uh, uh, isopropylene alcohol with some uh, uh, resin inside you should just look into what are the rules in your city the machine coming in the box is uh, really well packed uh, i think they uh, should really smash the box to be able to break it and uh, i personally didn't saw too many people complain about any damaging uh, during shipping maybe the acrylic cover had some damage usually but uh, for me it was fine everything was fine out of the box the setup of the machine is really easy you mostly need to remove the main two parts, that is actually the body of the machine and the acrylic uh, cover. It is resistant to UV lights uh, to avoid to let the resin cure meanwhile is in the tank uh, or in the vat of the machine. After you pretty much put on a table and uh, it is leveled correctly uh, because you can screw and unscrew the little feet of the machine to be able to level it uh, perfectly. You will go and proceed with the leveling of the build plates so you will just uh, put the build plates on top of the machine and screw it in and I'll screw the two little uh, screws to be able to uh, make the build plate loose. Without the tank, you can just put a little paper uh, on the screen and let drop the, the build plates. Uh, you can just go on the procedure in the menu of the machine and uh, the build plate will uh, drop down and when it will have uh, uh, get in contact it will just raise up and go down again and uh, after that that is kind of stuck in position you can uh, with being careful uh, you should uh, rotate a bit the build plate to make it center properly center and then you can screw and lock uh, the build plate in the right position after the build plate is uh, is correctly uh, level well that's that's it pretty much. Uh, what you need to do is take a bottle of resin. I got these two bottles. These are two resins from, from Futura. Uh, you know, I worked a lot in the past with them. And so I saw that they released this uh, resin for uh, uh, UV lights. And uh, you need to shake them properly before starting. And then you can just pour some on the machine and start your test prints. I would like to make sure to let you know that when you purchase such a machine, you will not receive any resin inside. I mean, 
to be honest, 270 euro machine, so I will expect to don't receive any resin. So you should purchase it when you purchase the machine. Uh, the test print that is on the machine usually is uh, this uh, Rookie. I use uh, this uh, blue transparent uh, resin from Fon Futura. And I will be honest, at the start I had some issue, and for me too is my first uh, experience with uh, resin printers. So I'm not sure what was the issue. I think it probably uh, could have been that I, I should have uh, leveled better the build plate of the machine. And after I did that, and clean the VAT because when you have a fail prints, uh, you should uh, remove all the resin from the tank uh, or the VAT and make sure that you don't have any Q resin inside the uh, vat and then put back again the resin. So that can be really messy. I suggest you to uh, purchase a lot, a lot of gloves, nitrile gloves, uh, to make sure that uh, even if uh, uh, you get in contact with your hands with the resin, you will not have any issue. And if you get in contact with any resin in any part of your body, please stop everything that you're doing and go wash properly the part of your body that uh, got in contact with resin because you can uh, have some chemical burn in your skin and trust me, it will not be a nice experience. So after everything was working perfectly, I printed this uh, Rookie Tower, uh, actually uh, in the test print are two and it looks uh, really good. The lettering on top of the Rookie Tower are really amazing and yeah, I'm really satisfied with this result. I mean, for a 270 euro machine, the results are really impressive. You need to make sure that when you finish the prints, you remove the printer part from the build plate uh, slightly and uh, not to add actually tapping uh, in the, with a little plastic spatula or even a metal one if you're careful to drop uh, the object that you printed inside the isopropylene alcohol or any other solution that you can use to remove uh, the uncured resin that is still uh, stick to the object and after that uh, I usually suggest to use uh, like a force uh, bath uh, with uh, isopropylene alcohol to remove the big uh, chunk of the resin and then do a second one to remove the small amount that is still there and after you have done that, uh, you should use a UV curing station or uh, some UV lights to make uh, sure that uh, you will cure it uh, correctly. When I started, I didn't add a proper solution for everything, but uh, slowly I built it up uh, my own UV uh, curing station. I bought my ultrasonic cleaner and uh, I just pretty much bought everything that is needed to be able to properly uh, handle uh, liquid resin. I will probably make a video about that just to show how I do all my process. And after pretty much you let uh, UV cure uh, these uh, uh, prints, then you are able to finally handle uh, the printed parts without any gloves or any protection. I did print uh, uh, quite a good amount of parts. This is just a few of them. Uh, I will post uh, right now on the screen some of the uh, details and uh, other objects that I printed with. And uh, I use it to, for myself. Uh, how maybe some of you know, I have my own company, it's called 3 d &A, and uh, with uh, my business partner, Ricardo. Hey, buddy. And uh, yeah, we had some commission work for raising printing and uh, I created a a lot of parts with this machine and I didn't have any major problem with it. I would say um, mostly yeah sometime uh, some little fail but uh, I think mostly maybe cause for inexperience than actually the machine having a trouble issue. I already changed it one time the uh, FEP or FEP uh, the transparent uh, film that you have on the bottom of the vat and uh, yeah, take some time, but uh, at the end of the day, it's worth it. In particular, if you damage it or with time become uh, a bit opaque. I already bought for myself a second screen because in uh, MSLA uh, technology, uh, the screen is a uh, consumable. So usually after uh, they say between 500 to 1000 hour, the screen will have some dead pixel and that, that will create some fail in the prints and then you need to remove it. But Thankfully, Elgu has a solution for that. You can just easily purchase uh, one of their screen. They have a good tutorial, um, both for like changing the FVP uh, sheets or the screens. And uh, I bought one just in case I have any issue with it, but I didn't have to change it yet. 
and I think it's around 20 25 euro uh, I will probably leave a, um, a lot of links uh, in the description like the resin that I use it, the, the machine links and these kind of things so in case you want to check it out uh, you can just uh, click and uh, check it then I'm really satisfied with this machine the price uh, is great uh, for a starting machine uh, uh, for a resin so an uh, MSLA machines probably it's not perfect but it's for sure really fun to play with it something that maybe I didn't mention they have a software the slicer software is called G2 box or something like that I'm not sure how you should pronounce it but uh, it works well you can easily hollow parts you can add and remove uh, supports it does it automatically but you can then manually add or remove supports and uh, it's great at least for now I'm really happy with it what I suggest to uh, purchase such a machine I think for sure if you want to start in uh, with SLA uh, printing is a great machine my only concern is make sure that you do everything safely uh, purchase a lot of gloves purchase uh, isopropylene alcohol or any other uh, cleaning agents that you can use uh, for raising cleaning and uh, don't be stupid stuff and be in a really ventilated area so that uh, you will not uh, have any health issue in the long run so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, well hopefully I will make a lot more I will not give uh, any schedule I personally think that I will do it when uh, I'm able to do it and I enjoy to do it I'll leave a comment leave a like and uh, just I will suggest you to follow me on Instagram mostly because it's where I'm more active in particular with the stories and posting what I'm working on and any suggestion any question yeah just leave it in the comment or tweet to me and I will reply to you see you at the next one